Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is all about you lovely Libras. That's right, this is your May 2020 love forecast. We have three piles here. Pile number one is represented by an aquamarine. Pile number two is represented by an amethyst. And pile number three is represented by a chunk of jade. So go ahead and resonate on which pile's right for you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon. And most definitely, please leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. It makes my day. So three piles, pile one, two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And let's get started. Okay, lovely Libra number ones. You chose the aquamarine and let's see what is coming in love may of 2020 the sewer mermaid your sensuality is beautiful number 25 and your cards say the seven of swords oh you've been cheated you've been cheated out of something or cheated on i don't like that I don't like that for you, Libra. But it's okay, because something's coming in quick. Victory is coming in quick. We have the Queen of Wands here. This is a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone who is fun and dynamic and exciting and charismatic. This is the person that can get you out on the dance floor dancing, even if you don't like to dance. Very passionate. And you're manifesting this person into your life. All right. So what I see for you, my lovely Libra and aquamarine folk, is that it's time for you to rediscover your own sensuality. You kind of either been cheated out of it um, be it by past relationships or you um, have been cheated on. And it's time to get out of that energy, to get away from that energy, and to move forward in an exciting way. And you've been manifesting someone into your life. Someone who is dynamic and fun and exciting and sort of, I don't know, upsets the apple cart for you. Um, which isn't something you generally like, but they're so intriguing. And yeah, they kind of upset the balance a little bit, but you have a really good time rebalancing it. So I kind of see for May of 2020 for you aquamarine Libras that you're leaving a bad situation behind and you're moving forward into one that you're manifesting for yourself um, because you're beautiful. Your sensuality is beautiful and it's time you realize how beautiful you are and how much you deserve. Don't settle for this crap. Don't settle for less than. Move forward and find that love, find that joy, find that happiness, because that is what you truly deserve. And that is what you're manifesting for yourself. For those of you who are already in a relationship, this just kind of says that you and your relationship have been cheated. You know, maybe you've been, I'm not saying you guys have cheated on each other or one of you has cheated. I'm saying your relationship has been cheated. Maybe you've both been working too hard and you've been cheated out of time together. Or, you know, maybe things have come through that have sort of cheated you guys out of financial situations or out of, you know, other situations. But I see like all these good things coming in and coming in quickly because you're manifesting it. You're beautiful. Remember that. Um, for those of you that are not in a relationship and aren't actively really looking you just kind of rediscover yourself. You sort of cheated yourself out of spending time with yourself and you're a lot more fun and dynamic than you realize at times. So they're saying take some time out and spend some time with yourself to rediscover how beautiful you are. Um, but you're manifesting good things into your life. And you are manifesting someone into your life. They're coming in quickly. And they are vibrant and exciting and just passionate and full of fire and love. And you're bringing them in because you don't want this anymore and you don't deserve this. 
You deserve all this stuff, all this good, all this beauty, all this excitement and passion and fire and all the good things because you are beautiful. Your sensuality is beautiful. And that is what I have for you, my lovely Libra number ones, my aquamarine Libras. I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope May of 2020 brings you everything you desire and everything you deserve. I love you guys. Bye. All right. My aqua or my amethyst Leos. Or, oh boy, it's going to be one of those days. I am so sorry. My amethyst Libras, you all are so lovely. Um, so let's see what's coming in for you for love, May of 2020. We have the Lantern Fairy, number 24, a clear solution. So there's a clear solution to a problem. I don't know what the problem is. Let's find out. The Hangman has you sort of taking this time out to reevaluate your life, reevaluate things. Reevaluate your goals, what you want for yourself, what you want to see in your life, what you want to see in your love life. The moon has you facing your shadow side. It also could be that you're having dreams of someone. The eight of cups has you walking away from this shadow side feeling, so that's good. And the Five of Swords has you as victorious. All right. So, some of you are already in a relationship and you're having a hard time trying to see their point of view on a subject that you guys might be fighting about. And you go to sleep one night and you're thinking about it and it comes to you in a dream and you're able to walk away from this argument and say, you know, you were right. I, you know... It's not a big deal. I don't need to deal with it. I'm fine. Um, it's all over. And you let it go. And because you let it go, you're victorious in the fight. You win because... You win because you came forward and were honest. Um, for some of you that are already in a relationship, this is more about seeing your other half's point of view. And when you see their point of view, you're able to sort of walk away from this idea that you victory at all cost like you always have to be right you kind of are able to empathize with them and walk away from the idea that you always have to be right now for those of you not in a relationship you're taking a new approach to dating you're maybe going somewhere you don't usually go and um you're feeling a little odd about it all and the cards are saying to, to leave that behind. I'm not sure whether you need to leave the feeling of being feeling odd, to going to these different places that you don't normally do, or, you know, but they're saying, or, or just dating in general, but they're saying you need to leave that behind to be victorious. So I'm kind of feeling like it's more you need to leave behind the feeling of this is odd. I don't, you know, I don't usually pick up guys at the bar or whatever. Um, you need to leave feeling you need to leave that feeling behind right now and just focus on the relationship that you want and what you want to see because when you're able to change the way you're looking at everything and you're able to sort of confront your shadow side and decide what you want then you can sort of walk forward in knowing what you want and you'll be victorious in every relationship because you'll know at the beginning whether this relationship is meant for you or not and that is what I have for you my beautiful number to uh, Amethyst Libras. Um, there will be a clear solution. You will be victorious. You have victory. Victory is your outcome card. Uh, I kind of feel you leaving behind this sort of dreamy state. And you're just going to be victorious. Whether this is you going out and actually, you know, offering a cup of love to somebody else. Or um, them offering it to you in the future. This has you sort of squaring your life away so that when they do offer it, you're ready. You're ready for them. You're ready for what's to come. And that's beautiful. All right. I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you have a wonderful May. Bye. All right. My lovely Libra, pile number threes, the green jade Libras. 
Let's see what's coming in May for you. Winged Seer. You see clearly clairvoyance. Number 12. Well, you kind of already know what's coming. Either there's someone that you've had your eye on or they've had their eyes on you. Um, and yeah, you already know what's coming. <laughs> the High Priestess. You already know what's coming. Um, the High Priestess is connection to spirit, connection to the divine, to the divine to the universe itself, um, being able to see clearly the world. You have the world. You have everything that you need, that you want. A solid foundation with the Three of Pentacles that you've built with someone. And the Eight of Wands, an idea or a message comes wrenching in quickly. Okay, or travel. What I, what I really see for you guys is that you finally see in May that you have everything you need. You have the person that you want to be with because you're already building a foundation with them. You already have your world. You already feel this connection to spirit. You know what's going on. You know what you're supposed to have. You know what is yours and what isn't. You know what is right for you. And you're already building this life that's perfect. And the cards are saying you're on the right path. Um, for those of you that are in relationships, this is you getting to know what your other half wants, what will make them feel complete and building a world with them where you both can feel this way. And it comes in really quickly and it's happy and it's excited and it's full of passion and it's beautiful. And you knew it was coming because you took the time out to get to know them and what they wanted. Um, but either way, you have the world and the high priestess here. So single and looking, coupled and wondering, coupled and just trying to see where the rough spots are. You know the best thing to do is to get to know this other person. And when you get to know this other person, they kind of become your world and you create a solid foundation with them. And it just moves forward quickly. And that's what I have for you. My beautiful Jade Libras. You guys are gorgeous. Look at this energy. I mean, the High Priestess and the world. You're, you're complete and you know it. You're beautiful and I hope you know it. You're smart and kind and loving and empathetic. And you understand things a lot of people don't. And that's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. And I hope you remember that. And I hope that you have a beautiful day, and I hope you have a wonderful May, and I love you guys. Bye. For those sticking around wondering about the cards, these are the Light Seer's Tarot by Chris Ann. And the Oracle cards are the Oracle of Shadows and Light by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me, Libra. Bye.